How fast and flexible is your brain? Today, we'll put it to test by doing this brain exercise commonly known as Stroop Test. Here's how to do it. It's just very easy. You'll just need to say the color of the word that we will show in the screen, not the word itself. Just say for example, green, blue, that's it. Now that you know it, get ready, cause we will start the Stroop test in 3, 2, 1, begin. Good job. Let's make it a little faster this time. We will start again in 3, 2, 1, begin. I hope you finished the test well. Feel free to retake it if you want to practice again. Moving on, let's take this test to another level. We will do advanced Stroop test where shapes are added along with colors and words which is more challenging for your brain. In this test, you need to say the color and shapes, not the semantic meaning of the word shown on the screen. Let's just say for example, red square, yellow triangle. Did you get it? You can just pause the video if you need more time to prepare. So now, let's start the test in 3, 2, 1, Begin. How's the tests? Do you find it a little difficult to say the color of the word? That's just natural and common for all us. This phenomenon is called Stroop effect. It is named after John Ridley Stroop who discovered this phenomenon while completing his doctoral thesis in psychology back in 1930s. Other psychologists like Colin M. MacLeod even studied it further and defined it as the delay in the reaction times between congruent and incongruent stimuli. In this test, we can tell it's congruent when the word's meaning and font color is the same, and incongruent stimuli when it is not. In this test, we can tell that our brain finds it more comfortable to prioritize words than colors since Stroop effect does not happen when we reverse it. We can still read the word at a normal speed because we can just ignore the color. If you want to practice more with these tests, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated because very soon I will upload another video solely for practicing Stroop tests and advanced Stroop tests. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Keep wandering, keep learning.